this is Emily with your Monday meditation. Yesterday we celebrated the baptism of the Lord. Each of the gospel writers had their own variation of Jesus' baptism, but in all of them the Holy Spirit comes upon Jesus and he is claimed as God's Son. When we celebrate a baptism at church, I often remind the gathered congregation that the water we use is just ordinary tap water that I got out of the church's kitchen sink. There's nothing special about it, but it is through our baptism that God takes this ordinary water and marks the extraordinary claim upon us that we are God's beloved children. It's a claim not usually marked with the whoosh of a wind or a descending dove when we stand at the baptismal font. But there is something remarkable about the experience of baptism. When parents bring a child for baptism or an adult comes to be baptized, we ask questions about the hopes and the intentions of the one being baptized. Promises are made to turn toward God and seek to turn away from evil. And the congregation, as a voice of the whole church, makes promises too. The congregation promises to help the person being baptized to grow in their faith to ask questions and seek truths together. Martin Luther, the great reformer, was known to repeat the phrase, I am baptized when he was in times of distress. It was a comfort to him, and this declaration is a comfort to us as well. It's a comfort not only in that we have received this mark of God's claiming, but that we receive this as a community. To say I am baptized is to link our lives with all those who follow Christ, to say, I am baptized, is to say, I am not alone in my seeking of God and God's ways. Let us pray. Holy God, we give you thanks for this claim of baptism marked upon us. Help us to remember the ways that our baptism links us with your people in every time and place. Amen.